What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video on the channel and today on the news we're gonna talk about once again about Timo Werner's future. He is wanted by a lot of teams in the Premier League but Chelsea are now ready to battle Liverpool for his signature. Also on the news we have Hawar is wanted by Juventus and Manchester City but the player prefers a move to the Serie A Giants. And finally to finish this intro also on the news we have Sterling. If he is to leave Manchester City this summer his favorite destination is Real Madrid. Check all of this news and much more next in the video guys. Let's try to hit 400 likes once again in this video so smash that like button guys. It's really really important for me and for the channel and for me to keep doing this video so smash that like button guys please and enjoy the video guys let's go. Ok guys another day another transfer video and today we start with Lazio Sporting Director Igli Tare has confirmed the club are close to signing Gonzalo Escalante from a bar. We will shortly be announcing a new signing Escalante from a bar said Tare. He is a player who has the right experience but above all the right characteristics to play for Lazio. Thomas Partey could be on his way to Paris Saint Germain in the near future. Mundo Deportivo claims the French giants are ready to advance on their interest in the 26 year old Ghana midfielder, but the likes of Manchester United, Arsenal, Liverpool, and Bayern Munich are also in the picture. Olympic Lyon have triggered their option to sign Carl Toko Ekambi from Villarreal on a permanent basis. The 27 year old forward was on loan at the French side but will stay for a further 4 years after they agreed to pay 12 million euros plus 4 million euros more in bonuses to the Spanish outfit. Matty Longstaff is on the verge of joining Udinez the Times claims. Talks between the midfielder and Newcastle have broken down while the Serie A outfit are offering him a huge pay rise and a 5 year contract. Olympic Lyon midfielder Awar is eager to join Juventus this summer, Calcio Mercato says. The 21 year old is ready to leave the French outfit and has been targeted by Manchester City but he would rather move to the Serie A giants. Lazio are willing to listen to offers for midfielder Serge Milinkovic Savic when the transfer window market reopens. However, sporting director Igli Tare said Milinkovic Savic will not be available at a reduced rate due to the coronavirus pandemic. Real Madrid are lining up a bid for Paris Saint Germain defender Tango Iquasi, according to reports. The 17 year old centre back's contract expires at the end of the month, and while PSG have offered him a new deal, Madrid are eager to snap him up. Juventus have set their sights on Borussia Mönchengladbach star Marcus Thuram, Lutten Sport reports. The 22 year old striker has impressed in Germany and caught the attention of several top teams in Europe. Juventus are the latest to join the race and they already have a good relationship with his agent Mino Raiola while his father Lilium spent 5 years playing there. Barcelona have seen an approach for Manchester City defender Eric Garcia knocked back reports ESPN. The Catalan giants are eager to bring a player who left their La Masia academy ranks in 2017 back onto their books but City have no intention of parting with a, high, with a highly rated 19 year old tied to a contract through the 2022 season. Chaim Sterling only plans to leave Manchester City for Real Madrid claims the independent. The England international winger has seen various landing spots mooted now that his current club have been stung with a European plan but Santiago Bernabeu is his dream destination. Paris Saint Germain have joined the race for Ajax teenage defender Sergino Dest claims ESPN. The 19 year old has been catching the eye at Ajax and the likes of Bayern Munich and Barcelona are already plotting moves for the American starlet. Lazio midfielder Milinkovic Savic is holding out for a move to Paris Saint Germain claims Lutten Sport with Real Madrid another option for him to consider. Manchester United have been long standing suitors of the Serbian midfielder but the Red Devils would be snubbed in any approach. Amid the scramble to secure Jadon Sancho's signature Manchester United have made Argentine winger Thiago Almada their transfer alternative. The Manchester Evening News reports that the Red Devils have turned their attention towards the 19 year old Vélez Sarsfield star as a way to discover whether Sancho can be priced from Borussia Dortmund. Roman Abramovich is ready to hand Frank Lampard 112 million plus euros to spend in the next transfer window reports the Athletic. 
the Chelsea owner will sanction moves for the likes of Jadon Sancho and Ben Chilwell with the Blues prepared to spend big on two marquee additions. Tottenham have identified Real Betis centre-back Fedal as a transfer target according to Don Ballon. Jose Mourinho sees the 31-year-old as the ideal replacement for Jan Vertonghen who looks set to leave Spurs at the end of the season. Fedal only has one year remaining on his current contract with Betis and has been restricted to just 11 appearances for the club in 2019-2020 season. Inter midfielder Raja Nainggolan wants to return to Rome as Calcio Mercato reports. The Nerazzurri are only willing to listen to permanent offers for the Belgium international who is currently on loan at Cagliari. Nainggolan previously played for Rome between 2014 and 2018 before being snapped up by Inter for 38 million euros. Benfica midfielder Florentin Luiz is the subject of interest from Milan. According to Planeta Milan, the 20-year-old's agent Bruno Carvalho is attempting to negotiate contract terms with the Italian giants ahead of a summer transfer window. Florentino Luiz has appeared in 15 matches in all competitions for Benfica this season and is currently tied to the club through to the 2024 season. Celtic defender Azer is attracting interest from Madrid rivals Atletic and Real Madrid according to Football Espana. The Norwegian is expected to leave Parkhead at some stage in the near future after seeing his stock rise and it could be that he links up with a La Liga heavyweight. Southampton was delighted to announce that Ralph has signed a new four-year contract at St. Mary's. Bournemouth are ready to dip back into the transfer market to try and cite Tyrese Campbell from Stoke City according to Football Insider. The Cherries saw 11 million euros bid for the forward rejected in January and are preparing to return with an increased offer when the summer window opens. Much could yet depend on Josh King's future, however, with Bournemouth likely to need funds from his sale to finance the move for Campbell. Real Madrid midfielder Luka Modric proposed summer move to Milan is off, according to Calcio Mercato. The Croatian promised former Rossoneri chief football officer Boban that he would move to San Siro at the end of the season. However, a potential deal fell through after Boban's departure in March and Modric is now set to see out his existing contract at Madrid through the 2021 season. Australian midfielder Oliver Bozanic has left Hearts after the expiration of his contract the Scottish club has confirmed. The 31-year-old could return to the A-League where he has previously played for Central Coast, Melbourne Victory and Melbourne City. Leeds United are keeping an eye on Adolfo Gage, reports Football Insider. The club is eyeing Gage for their return to the Premier League, although Gage's preference is a move to the Serie A. West Bromwich Albion are also said to be interested in the San Lorenzo star. Chelsea are battling Liverpool for the signature of Leipzig striker Timo Werner. The Reds are yet to activate the 24-year-old 60 million release clause despite their interest, with Chelsea now making it clear they want the German international according to the Telegraph. Werner's release clause is expected to drop in 12 month time an option suitors might be elect to wait for. Rennes might need to wait until June 30 before making a move for Udinese defender Nicolas Opuku according to reports. Amiens, where he is presently on loan, have the first option to buy him for 4 million euros before the temporary deal expires at the end of this month. The 22-year-old joined the Unicorns in February and made 7 appearances playing for the entire 90 minutes in all of them and getting booked only once. Arsenal has decided to keep Barcelona target Aubameyang at the club during the final year of his contract unless a decent offer is submitted. The 30-year-old striker is about to begin the last 12 months of his deal, but the Gunners are wary that Covid-19 has slashed the striker's value from his initial 56 million euros price tag. With offers for Aubameyang set to be around 23 million euros, Arsenal might force the Gabon international to see out of his deal at the Emirates, according to the Sun. And finally to win the video guys, Aston Villa striker Caden Davis has been linked with a surprise move to Turkish side Besiktas. The 22 year old has only made 8 appearances for Aston Villa in the Premier League, but is a target for Besiktas according to Turkish outlet Sports. We reached the end of the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, you already know, smash that like button, let's try to hit 400 likes in this video, so smash that like button, it only takes one second and it is really really important for me and for the channel guys, 
leave a comment down below about the video, about transfer rumors, about transfer confirmations, about the rumors or confirmations that I missed, anything that you want guys, subscribe if you're new, stay safe guys, I'm Default and I'll see you guys in the next video.